What's up everyone? Good morning. Hope all is good. 2019. First video of 2019. Right now, I'm going over to my friend Titus's house and we're going to go for a super early morning surf. It's about 6, 6.30 a.m. right now. Head over there and going to be surfing at a different beach break, which we I don't usually surf at. Haven't surfed there in probably like a year. Good amount of time, so it should be fun. Sometimes it's barreling, sometimes the waves are really good over there. And it, since it's pretty early in the morning, it might be really, really glassy. So that's where we're headed. What's cool now is now I'm just, I'm surfing my dad's boards since um, I've now grown enough to where um, his boards aren't too big. It's like, this board is a little, a little big, but it's not like way too big to where it's hard to do maneuvers and stuff. So that's what I'm gonna be surfing today. What is this board? What are the dimensions for? Anyone wondering? Ah, this board is a 6'2". And off we go. Yeah, it has been a minute since I've done a vlog, even a, a voiceover over some footage like this. So, maybe a little rusty, but it, it's good to be, feels good to be doing another video. So right now I'm just heading over to meet up with Titus and boom, we're at the beach. Um, as I always like to do is, you know, you scan the waves, see where it looks the best. So we ended up walking down the beach for like five, ten minutes to where the waves look the best. If you're wondering what that is, battle scar from a previous session when my dad was using this surfboard. But just making our way out. And right after our raid, as soon as I got out, this other surfer, fellow surfer, he caught that wave. So just happened to be filming. And managed to get this one. Did a little bottom turn, came up did almost like a little check turn and then the white water gobbled me up and went like almost, I almost fell but I was able to kind of keep my stance and make it out of it and do another little turn so that was a good start to the session and this little weird blob of seaweed was just floating there looked interesting so I figured I should film it and of course the closeout barrel shot even though like 99% of the time I don't make it out of the barrel um, probably even more than that. It's still super fun to just try to pull into the little bar little barrels and try to make it as far as you can. It is just seeing like this tunnel of water that you're like traveling through is just so cool. And this right here is just some footage that I took from a little um, little like rock formation explore and I did with um, some friends. And these were actually some tide pools that I'd never checked out before, so they were pretty cool to find. They're they're pretty camouflaged in with the water, so that was very cool. And this footage of these climbing these rocks and stuff was actually filmed before the surfing footage, but with videos you have the freedom of putting footage wherever you want. So if I didn't tell you, you would have no idea. And it, this video could have been in chronological order, but this is how so many movies are. Sometimes footage is moved over here, there wherever you feel it suits best. You have the freedom to do whatever you want. Back out surfing, this was the next day. Um, when I was filming this exact clip, it was probably about 5.30 or 6 a.m., so really early, and you can just see how smooth the water looks. It's just so glassy, just unreal how just smooth the water is all the way across the coast. And it only stays that glassy right at sunrise for um, a short amount of time and then more bumps start showing up and I'm not sure what caused it but the water was just super duper clear it's for like from sitting on top of the water you could see like 10 feet down all the way to the sand so I was able to spot this little piece of driftwood that was um, bobbing around under there and swim down and check it out and on camera you can see it very clearly but in the moment um, it's kind of hard to see underwater with your eyes open so you don't have goggles or anything so that's why I kind of like hesitated when I touched it I was like making sure it wasn't like a puffer fish or something because it was in real life it was a, the vision was a little blurry of course the n notorious tuck into the body surfing barrel and I've, I've, I've never really seen anyone else do that where they just push their board to the side and because a lot of times you're trying to get into a barrel standing on your board but if it's a closeout it is definitely fun just pushing your board away and then trying to just body surf into it all right everyone that's it for this video that's that's a wrap and i'll see you in the next one